Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new application uh, from Simbit World. They are the creators of the popular A Pilot's Life version 2 which we also did a video on um, and they've released a new application called A Grand Tour. So we're going to take a look at that today. I do want to say a very big thank you to a video from Simbit World who is the CEO and lead dev for uh, providing a copy of A Grand Tour to me. Uh, to stream and review. So what is a Grand Tour? Here we are now. Uh, UI is very similar to a Pilot's Life V2, which is quite nice. It's a nice UI, uh, all laid out really nicely. So what is a Grand Tour all about? Well, if you've ever been sat on SimBrief wondering where to fly um, and you end up, you know, flying the same routes, same airports uh, that you know. Now, what a Grand Tour will let you do is you can create your own tour or you can fly other people's tour, as you can see here and these tours are essentially um is exactly what it says on the can you fly from airport to airport following these tours that people create so it gives you a purpose uh to fly and it gives you various routes to fly as well so just as an example here um i made one called and this is publicly available so you can all fly this as well i made a 2024 season formula one world tour uh routing here and as you can see we start in uh, Bahrain here then on to Jeddah then from Jeddah to Melbourne Melbourne to uh, Suzuka and it covers all the all the races in the season so instead of having to you know make this route yourself or or work out what airports to pick you know essentially I've done it for you you can start the route and fly it, and you of course do get points and all that good stuff and it tracks your flight as well and adds it to the logbook and there are many many tours available so um, some are from a video himself um, but there's ga private jet helicopter uh, and airliner routes and of course other routes as well so there's loads to pick from um you know the advantage just has over a pilot's life is a pilot's life is very much uh, just for airliners and airline flying for example the 747 200 from felis that we all know and love it's not very it's not used very much in the real world and therefore you can't really fly it on a pilot's life whereas this you can use whatever aircraft you want there's absolutely no restrictions there's no type ratings that you have to purchase there's all of these available there's so many there is hundreds and hundreds and um of course as more people purchase the program more people start using it you will get more and more so as you can see here here's one um united airlines hub hopping uh which is pretty cool so if you wanted to do some united airlines ops but you didn't know where to fly this you know sorts it out for you but there's also you know ga stuff so here there's a discover tennessee so you know i'm, I'm not from tennessee i'm not even from the united states so i i don't know any of these airports other than maybe nashville so if i wanted to explore the you know the state of tennessee then this is how i do it using uh you know, in a GA aircraft and again these are airports I, I wouldn't have known before and it just means you're discovering new airports which is really really cool there's another one here there's a Norway tour here this is pretty cool um, Norway is a beautiful beautiful region uh, to fly to and from so that could be a pretty cool tour to do but anyway uh, so once you find a tour that you like just for the example I'm going to pick this Delta Atlanta four day trip you can go to tour details here and you can see uh, the total distance, the amount of legs. Uh, so, you know, you can see here we've got Atlanta to Dallas Fort Worth, uh, then Dallas Fort Worth to Boston, Boston to uh, another airport which I'm not familiar with, to Miami to uh, Washington to back to Atlanta. So, this is pretty cool. And as you can see here, aircraft is specified here, but you don't have to follow this uh, by any means. It won't affect any score. This is just saying, uh, I presume this is from a, yeah, so this is a replica of a real world four day trip. So this is what the real aircraft are, you know, that's been used. So if you want to go into, you know, that much detail and really use the correct aircraft as well, then you can do. Uh, sometimes flight plans can be added as well. Um, so as you can see, no flight plans for this leg, which is fine because flight plans change all the time anyway. Um, of course, depending on all sorts, weather, no terms. Yeah, once you want to use this, you can bookmark it for later if you want, or you can click start tour. So I'm going to click start tour. Um, and because I've got an active tour already, it's going to pause it. So you can, you can start as many tours as you want. So if you then go to your tours here, you can see all the tours that I have. So I've of course got my, uh, Formula One world tour um that i have here i've done one leg and i have the europe tour which i'm doing as well 
Uh, now the 2024 Formula One World Tour it will be a series on the channel. So I've already done the first leg on a live stream. Um, and then this will be a mix of videos and live streams. So do stay tuned if you're interested in that. That'll be done in both simulators. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, our active tour is now the one that we just picked, the Delta Atlanta four day trip. Um, so you can go to details, you can pause it, you can delete it, you can restart. So you can do these tours as many times as you want. Again, no restrictions. And I can, you know, if I'm, if I do a leg here now, I want to go back to my F1 world tour. I can just resume it. And you can do it as many as you want. I don't think there's a limit to this. There is, of course, your logbook. We'll go through that later. But if you go to current leg, uh, this is how I, this is your main page when you're flying. So you load up in the sim. You do need to install uh, XP UI PC or FS UI PC depending on the simulator. Uh, but those are really easy. I'll leave a link to both of those in the description. So as you can see, the first one here was Atlanta to Dallas. So uh, you can see the aircraft here. If you want to put your call sign, you can do that. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, put anything. I mean, I guess we'd use a, <laughs> a Delta call sign. But uh, I don't know what the Delta call sign is, to be honest. So I'm just going to use my normal uh, CUDA 818. If I go to flight plan, there is no flight plan, so that's fine. Um, but we can go to Simbrief Dispatch, and it's going to open up Simbrief. As we can see here, let it load. And it's going to autofill all of these. So our departure, our arrival, uh, it's even put the aircraft type in. Then we can just put our airline flight number uh, if you want to change anything you can so you can set your phoenix or the, or the tolis you know uh, whatever you want to do and just hit generate and then you have your sim brief flight plan so it's a really nice shortcut uh, to use for that all you have to do now is once you're on this page um, when you load the flight sim and it detects xp yp pc and all that good stuff uh, it'll, it'll connect and then once you load into a flight you'll see your aircraft on the map here um, and you'll see your flight stage as well and it should all connect but yeah make sure these are green before you you know you uh, push back or whatever just to make sure that it does record your flight and it does everything else completely automatically so once you have this running you can just start your flight you you know take off land whatever um, and it will also actually auto save your flight but you can turn that feature off in the settings so once you've done your flight and it's saved you can go your logbook you can see the last flight i did was part of my 2024 season uh from the one world tour so you have that here and you can even have a legs map so you can see everything i've flown uh so this one was part of the europe tour that i did which uh was a default sort of it came with the software um it was one of the first ones up there and that was in the 757 uh, and then the europe tour uh, sorry the formula one tour is what i did as well so this is really nice a very nice feature you can see all the flights you've done next if you go to statistics you can see a load of different things here so you can have a level um so you can see i'm still only level two baby tour um but you do get points for various different things not just for um you know completing a leg as you can see here you get points for creating a tour uh, you get points when your tour gets rated, when your tour gets completed by other people, as far as I know. And there's apparently some other things as well, um, which haven't been shared publicly. It's just, you know, a bit of a surprise. So you might get points for other stuff as well. And you'll level up, essentially. On the right-hand side here, you can see some community statistics. You can see the popular tours in the last 90 days and popular tours all time. Uh, obviously, this is the same right now because software's only been out for like less than a week. But this is cool if you want to see some popular tours so this caribbean cargo hopping looks pretty cool if we go to details uh this is a route we actually did when the caribbean update for x-plane 12 came out uh but yeah you can see the popular routes and go ahead and fly them you can also rate the routes once you have completed them as well so that's pretty much it it's a really simple software um allows you to find all these fantastic routes from everyone uh, of course you can make your own as well but there's just so many you can see there's a guitar airways one here as well uh, so many routes to pick and it just gives you a bit of a purpose uh, to your flight sim. Now personally I really enjoy this uh, as you can see I already done two legs and I will be doing a lot more and putting them on the channel as well uh, as a playlist or a series just like our a Pilot's Life version 2 series. Uh, yeah really cool software I believe it's uh, 15 pounds uh, from Sim Market or Contrail I'll leave a link to Sim Market uh in the description so it's yeah it's a lot cheaper than a pilot's life uh, but obviously that's because it's a bit more basic um there is no link between the two so uh, of course your account 
um, you know, there's no link between your flights in a pilot's life and in this, but they are um, going to look into something like that potentially. Of course, if you have any feature requests, then do go ahead and post it on their Discord. They're very, very active there and always listening to the community. If you have any questions about the software, do let me know in the comments. But overall, really, really uh, enjoyed this software. I very much recommend it if you are you know, struggling to find new routes and new places to fly, especially for GA or helicopters or you know anything really you can fly, uh, whatever you want. So if you do want to see uh, the software being used for a full flight, then I'm going to leave a link in the description to my live stream where I flew the first leg of that F1 world tour. Uh, but of course, I will be starting the series as well. So do go ahead and check that out. If you are new here, please do go ahead and take a look at my link tree so you can go ahead and follow all of my other socials. And if you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And maybe you can go ahead and check out some of these videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.